Pika has just released Pika Editions. In this video, I'm going to show you what it is, how to use it, some of my examples, best practices, and my overall thoughts. So let's get into it. Here we are inside Pika, and as you can see, straight away, we've got a new video saying, get started with Pika Editions, and we'll go to that shortly. But just before we do, let's look at some of the other creations people have created. This here is really, really fun. Somebody opening a box, and then this weird kind of monster appearing. We've got someone knocking on a door, opening up the door, and there is a monkey reading the book while on the toilet. Someone lifting up a bag, and lo and behold, there is a monster in the bag. If you go on social media quite a bit about Pika Editions, you'll see people opening doors, people opening cupboards and fridges, and there's uh, polar bears and monsters. That seems to be the favourite thing people like to do with Pika Editions. So now let's just click Get Started with Pika Editions, and then at the bottom here, simply upload your video. Now, the video must be at least five seconds. If you have a video under five seconds, you can't actually upload it. You can upload a video that's over five seconds, but Pika will use the first five seconds. So your video has to be at least five seconds long. Here is my son on a sleigh on a snowy day. And then it just pans up and there's my wife, another son in the background. And then what do I want to see in this picture? I want to see a stormtrooper. So I'm putting in a stormtrooper from Star Wars. It's automatically added this description at the bottom. Add this to my video based on the current actions in the original video come up with a natural and engaging way to fit the object into the video. So I'm simply just going to click the star button and this is now going to generate my video. And it's saying here, generations usually take a few minutes. We're so excited for you. And while that's generating, you can actually see I have generated two videos like this before. And let's just look at this video. So you can see the stormtrooper walking. And as it pans up, it keeps the tracking of the stormtrooper really, really well. That really looks as if the stormtrooper is actually there. On this occasion, I added, add the stormtrooper walking behind the sleigh to make it fit into the video. And then before that, I was talking about polar bears earlier. Everyone's using polar bears. I am not exempt from that. And I added a polar bear to this scene. And it looks really, really well. Quite a big polar bear. Going back to the generation just made there now. You can see that the stormtrooper is in the video, but it's not walking. And that's why normally you have to add custom text like I did previously. Add the stormtrooper walking behind the sleigh to make it fit into the video. If you don't do that, we well maybe you get lucky with the polar bear walking, but the stormtrooper, it just kind of seems like it's floating and it's not very realistic at all. My son had a birthday party some time ago and I decided to add Scully from Monsters Inc. into it. And I made two generations. This is the first one where I simply used the default text and it looks really, really good. You can see my son's face slightly gets a bit distorted, but look how well Scully, even with the shadow, even with the conditions fits into this video so well. Here's another prompt that I used and in this one I said add this to my video based on the current actions in the original video have the monster naturally walk in and fit into this video. As you can see I think this looks even better and then it whispers into my son's ear. So Pika works so so well with real video and real life people but I want to try something else this is an AI image of a living room and an AI image of a dragon and I just wanted to see what would happen if I said a dragon reading a book on a couch and it adds the dragon into the scene. It lights the dragon into the same lighting and colour correction as the scene and this is really impressive. Something similar this time I wanted the dragon sleeping, a dragon sleeping on the couch and that looks really really realistic and just look at the shadows and look at the colour correcting on this video. There's a new trailer for Jurassic Park released and I wanted to see could I get a dinosaur walking by this bedroom window and it does a pretty good job. I think that looks fairly realistic. This is another AI image of a kitchen and an AI image of a robot and you can see it fits the robot into the scene really well. When using 
Peak Editions, it's best to add the object that you're bringing in on a white background. Pika seems to like it if it's on a white background. They can still do it on different coloured backgrounds, but if you can use a white background, that is even better. Is Pika Editions perfect? It's definitely not. As you can see from my tests, there is a bit of trial and error. Normally, you need a several generations. I've generated it quite a lot with Pika Editions. Some of these videos, I've generated maybe three or four times and the ones I don't like I just delete but it does take sometimes a few generations. Could you use the quality on an actual production? Not at the minute. You can see here my son this is before and this is after and you can see his face gets a little bit warped, a little bit mushed and blurred. That said I would maybe bring this into After Effects and mask out his face put in the original face and you could use it. In time I'm sure Pico will fix this but at the minute it wouldn't be ready as a commercial tool but for adding things together very quickly at the minute you're going to only add one item per video so just one video and one item is the limit at the minute and it's a lot of fun i have had a lot of fun and i've got a few ideas of what i would like to do with pika additions in the future i have been involved in visual effects for over 20 years and something like this really really excites me to get a polar bear walking behind my son to get the track in to get it color corrected to get a, a realistic shadow it would take a long time pika has done a superb superb job in under a minute work. So from a visual effects point of view, it's very exciting the future for visual effects and AI. We're not there yet, we're getting close. I'm going to do more experiments and there might be more videos on Pika coming soon. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Pika Editions? Will you be using it? Is there anything else you want to see from it? Thanks for watching, hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.